Have you ever wondered who was doing the research and where they were doing that research on some topic that interested you? Well, I had those questions about Hall Effect thrusters, so I took a look. Now, Hall Effect thrusters are a subset of ion thrusters where you take ionized gases and you shoot them out the back of your craft. And Hall Effect thrusters are a subset of this where you're magnetically confining those ions using the Hall magnetic effect. Now, these ion or Hall Effect thrusters are really, really fuel efficient, although they don't provide a lot of thrust, so they're great for deep space probes and for maintaining satellites on orbit. I did this as a personal project using data from data.gov. I downloaded 94 different JSON data files, and I looked at those files and discovered that I was looking at metadata rather than actual research data, which was a little disappointing, but you can work with it. There are three different types of research centers. You have your lead research centers, your support research centers, and your responsible research centers. There were only two of the responsible research centers. You had your Space Technology Mission Directorate, which was almost the only one except for two mentions of the Human Exploration and Operations Mission Directorate. And it does make sense since this is, after all, space technology that's being looked at here. The cities was also a spot that uh, got me a little surprised here because, as you see here, this is not the typical NASA locations for cities. But it makes a little more sense as you go into this a little bit further. There was only one NASA agency that was a top five lead research center, specifically the Glenn Research Center. And it does make sense a little bit more as you look at it because Busick Company built the first flight U.S. Hall thruster. So that makes sense on why they have so many different research pieces here. And then E-Beam and Colorado Power Electronics focus on high voltage systems. There were also three NASA agencies that were top supporters, Glenn Research Center, Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and the Marshall Space Flight Center. Hi, VDSML is a Bi Veterans for Veterans community. We have a strong conviction that virtually all veterans in the data space can benefit from mentorship. What's more, if you've got more than say a year's worth of experience, we think you've got a lot more to offer than you realize. So I hope that you'll go check out VDSML's mentorship program, consider signing up as both a mentor and a mentee, because our mentorship program can help you and you can be a tremendous help to someone else. Thank you. I wanted to do sentiment analysis on the titles and descriptions, but it didn't work for me because the tidy text algorithms that I was using were built for prose, so they work great on books and they do not work at all for titles and descriptions. So I looked at word frequency instead, and as you can see, uh, phase was referenced over a thousand different times, which is almost 12 times per study. And it does make sense because there were 21 studies that were in phase two. You can also see here the small business innovation research and the small business technology transfer were where most of these studies were being done under. This was the funding umbrella for this. So this wasn't so much that NASA was doing the research itself, but rather that it was funding research from smaller companies to look into new technologies. The titles and the descriptions, when you look at word clouds, uh, there's not a lot of difference between them, which is pretty cool because it shows a pretty neat uh, similarity between the titles and the descriptions on your research projects. It also looked like most of these studies were started in the early 2010s in June or January. So if you want to start a study, start it at the beginning or the middle of the year. There were a very small group of directors and a large group of principal investigators. Jason Kessler had 73 different research projects that he was directing. So one guy in charge of 73 out of 94 of those. Kind of crazy. And then principal investigators, there were only 46 of those right across all 94 of the studies. So that was a little bit more even there. Very interesting. So I'd certainly be curious to hear if you have any thoughts on what goes on for research funding and people being in charge of the research. Um, if this sparked some curiosity further that you'd like investigated, if, uh, you know, just anything else in general related to this thought wise, put those down in the comments below. And I look forward to uh, further conversations with you there to the stars.